What is going on guys, we're back with some more Life is Strange. There will be no face cam for this recording session. The camera is not set up and yeah, I just don't want to do face cam for this part. So there will be more face cam in the future, but not for this recording session. Um, we'll see how long this goes. All right, so we are here at Two Whales Diner and I think we just spoke with this guy, but some for some reason the game doesn't like save and stuff. So I'm just going to... Go back here and check it out. How you doing? Uh, stop that! Stop! No barky. No barky. I don't want to talk to the fisherman. It's just let's just go inside. Let's go inside. Here we are. We're in the diner. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Makes me feel 13 again. Who's that? Wait, that's... I know that's Rachel Amber, but there's somebody out the window. Okay. Let's take a look. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Pan Estates. Welcome to Pan Estates. Affordable luxury homes, forests, ocean, and lighthouse views coming soon to change the way you live. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods. Yeah, that's kind of apocalyptic. Oh. Halloween Bizarre. Halloween Bazaar. brings back memories. 25th Halloween Annual. Halloween, I loved the parade. Okay, let's see. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Uh, should we talk about Joyce and Chloe? Let's, let's talk about Joyce. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. Okay, let's talk about Chloe. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Oh, gosh. That's not good. Uh, that's not good. Anyway... Mm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. I have to go. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain... That answers question. That RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. Okay, Frank. That's all I That's can his say name. Now. We'll remember I that. I finish up my coffee and get to work. Okay. Do your job, Mr. Officer Guy. Should I talk to this? I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like talking to him. Fisherman. Should we just, like, talk to Joyce? Joyce! Joyce! Okay. Uh, we can sit. Jukebox. Let's use it. Guitar tune. Wall of Fame. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Steelhead trout caught by Andy Berry. Okay, just a bunch of fish that are caught. Ooh. Want everything. Drool. Dang, those look pretty nice. I want all of that. Okay, let's just go sit down, I guess. We can just sit. Uh, she's coming. And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, <laughs> like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. That wasn't mine. I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I am a good influence. I'm the be. best thing that has ever happened to her. 
I know things were hard for you and Chloe. If it weren't for me, she'd I be feel dead. Bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Exactly. Joyce, I am us. so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. Chloe has changed. I think she understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, oh tattoos, my. piercings, blue hair. Expulsion. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. I did. And I'm not scared I of David. Sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. Yep, I'm but a good Chloe friend. Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Okay. He cares about Kate Marsh. Let's ask about that. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? Okay. I saw him arguing with I Kate. Guess. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelette or Belgian waffle? Uh, Belgian waffle sounds tasty. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Don't tell me what to do! But I will do it. I don't even drink coffee myself. It's I don't I don't get how people can drink it, and I think it also. One second, let me see if I'm actually recording my voice. Okay, just making sure I was doing something right. All right, let's look at our menu. Shh, Max. Breakfast: homestyle eggs and bacon, apple sausage omelet, Bigfoot bacon omelet. Yeah, just your typical breakfast foods. Uh, graffiti. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Oh, Warren. Okay. Let's look out the window. The Take a nice view. So mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Stick with the bacon. All right, let's drink our coffee. Doing what Joyce says to do. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? This is a diner, okay? Not a bar. Incoming. Let's just watch. Ooh, TV. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. I know. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. You see it, you still see a girl, not a woman. Mm, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? <laughs> Mom, please do not give Max any shit That's for funny. that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Legal 18. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn Dang, look at Max. In a day. She's like digging into that. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. 
What is this shit on the jukebox? Hey, I put that on the jukebox, okay? It's not crap. Now that that's out of the way. I should put banjo to make her more mad. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come mm. on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? No. I don't know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, so we get to see what she has in her pocket okay, so Max. far. Impress me. I think. Oh. <laughs> Definitely not a gun, I would say. Chewing gum, keys, I don't know. How about keys? You have car keys, Your don't car you? Keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Razor blade, bullet keychain, skull keychain. A skull. I would imagine a skull. Uh, skull keychain for a punk. Like exactly. That my was thought process. So wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Okay then. Okay. Don't got me. Whatever. Oh. So that she. That was beyond. Wow. Fail. You even made me want to believe you. Shall we take a look? Let's take a look. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Is that a panda? Got cigarettes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cigarettes. Um, so 25, 50, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86 cents. 86 cents. Seven cigarettes. A, a, a warning ticket. 10.34 a.m. 92113 Yeah, September. September 21, 2013. All right. Just examining carefully as we should say and let's rewind time and then we can make her feel so amazed now that we know what's inside her pockets. Is that it? So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Alright, you have cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. That's Amazing. not my superpower. Something else in my pockets? You have keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It has a freaking panda on it. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? And a parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> and money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Was it 82 or 86? I think it was 86. Yeah, it was 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. Alright. I think we got them all right. Otherwise, they tell us we got it wrong or something, which I'm sure we got it all right, because I examined very carefully. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Yeah, give her that look. Like, haha, I'm a genius. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Food. More food. But that's hers. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Nice. We had two yeah, nice saves. Like wolf. <laughs> Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Okay. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay. I will try my best. Oops. Did that guy dropped his coffee. Cup? Really? 
No refill for you. Drop this coffee. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Oh. Hey, where is my partner? So the cop's partner leaves. Those guys are fighting. I'm finishing it. Anything else? Something with that girl? No. No. Okay. Ah. A jukebox. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind right. and tell Chloe everything that just happened. <laughs> he's just awkwardly sitting there. Like I will predict the future and then he's just awkwardly sit there. Alright. Let's go and tell her. Wait. Speak. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Joyce drops her plate, Cops drops his glass, Trevor drops his glass, Trucker drops his mug. Was it a trucker? I think it was a trucker. The drops trucker his drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new yeah, one. Yeah, I think that's, that's so right. So what happens next? Alerts on Cops radio and he leaves and he eats a donut and his partner leaves. His partner leaves, right? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce beats them and Joyce stops them. Joyce doesn't care. Joyce encourages them. She stops them. She doesn't beat them. She just says stop. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And then the jukes as a fly lands on it, as a butterfly lands on it, the trucker plays a new song. Jukebox, jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Okay. I think that one's right. The jukebox goes crazy Because it does go crazy. Crawls on it. I didn't see the cockroach mess. though. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Okay, let's just sit in here and watch. I'll try not to talk during these cutscenes. I tried to talk in between, but yeah, let's just watch. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, way really? To go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight <laughs> outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? Wow. Allegiance to Max I got it right. Which she stands. That wasn't this too hard though. Toy, so I do have not to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. <laughs> you did wow. not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. That's not See good. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the I love her nose how- day. I love how suddenly her nose stops bleeding without her doing anything. Okay. Chloe, I mean, I, I noticed it. Me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Are we leaving? Ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. Ah. My stomach plans ahead. Your stomach is stocking up for winter. Freaking. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and what we do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big what? You don't oh, call Kate. me once in five years and now you're She's all over She's in trouble right now. You see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Oh, this is an important decision as it shows. Uh, we're going to answer it because I know how Kate Marsh is right now. She's not doing too well and she kind of needs someone to talk to. So we'll answer the phone. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. 
If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. We're seriously hanging out with you, okay? Just give us a few seconds or minutes to answer this dang phone call. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. But we're hanging out with Chloe right now, and Kate is nowhere near us. So we have to answer. We have to answer. It's she might do something bad. I'm not sure. It just seems like it since she's all depressed and I don't know. It's it's going really bad, in general. Ah, oh, this is what we saw from the uh, preview from is this a race? the ending of the first episode. Hey, at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this That's is? That's what she I said. Get my best friend back and she's also super Raw and rough. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm oh kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but don't shoot yourself. You have more power than an army. I bet she's gonna don't shoot herself. Say team. rewind time. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck! <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. We're cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns. <laughs> Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Fine, we will go find your dang five bottles. Let's see. Where do we begin? There's lots. Okay. Don't want to look at the car. Oh, I found one. Let's take it. I feel like we're too short though. Yeah. Come on, Max. Come on. Let's reverse that. Rewind that. Okay, um, since she's too short, do we just move up crate? Yeah. That's what I thought. I wouldn't reach with one hand, I would reach with like, I don't know, I'll try to support it somehow. Okay, let's get it now. Okay, we got Hello, one. Bottle number one. One more to go. It's like we're on a scavenger hunt, Easter egg hunt, but this time we're on a we're on a bottle hunt. Looking around for some bottles. Mhm. Mm let's, let's, let's see what's in here. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Ah, uh, found one. Two Ooh, now. Only three bottles left. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Hmm. Makeup case. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. That was probably Rachel's. I'm not sure. Oh, we have text messages. I forgot. Okay, let's read this. Uh, I don't want to read all of that. So if you guys want to read it, you can pause the video and take your time to read it. Hell yeah, we will in your new ride. Maybe we can get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first or whatever. Anyway, go ape. Too late. Alright, Chloe. Oh, somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. <laughs> 